Welcome to Barry's Thoughts, March 2022. Back in the late 1980s in Tulsa, where I used to live, we used to go to a, a Mexican buffet. Actually, there were a couple Mexican bu buffets in Tulsa at the time. There was Casa Bonita, which is the famous one that on the cartoon show South Park, that's the one Cart Cartman always wanted to go. Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita, da 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 uh, and we went to that one, and I'd been going to that one since the early 70s, $1.89 for all you could eat in 1971. But there was another one that we used to go to called Poncho's. Not quite as good, but it was okay. And uh, it's still around. Last weekend, we went to Poncho's again. We have been going there for, what, 34 years, 35 years? Um, there's less and less of them. When we first moved to the Dallas area or this area south of Dallas, there used to be three or four around here. There's only one I know of right now that we go to. So let's take a look at Poncho's Mexican Buffet. Mmm, here we go. We're getting in line. We're getting ready. We're getting our tray. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> oh, and look at that food. All you can eat. No wonder I'm so fat. Ooh, okay. Now it's, we're getting ready to sit down. And here I am with my food. Look at that. I'm all set. I'm raising my flag. I want more. You raise your flag and you get more food. Okay. And now I'm done and I'm gonna get dessert. And guess what we have for dessert? Sopapillas. These are little puffy dough filled pastry that you can dunk in honey. Oh man, that's good. But anyway, that's our trip to Poncho's. Uh, by the way, Casa Bonita closed down in Tulsa in 2005. As far as I know, Poncho's is still up there, but it may not be. The only Casa Bonita left anymore is the original one in Denver. And believe it or not, it was purchased by uh, the creators of South Park to renovate and uh, sort of make over again. And the reason the reason the Casa Bonita is such a neat place is it's a Mexican village in, inside, indoors. It even has a waterfall where divers dive off the waterfall indoors. It has a pirate's cave. It has a governor's mansion. It has a little um, outside villa place. It's like a little village. It used to have little marionettes that would go across on strings as you would eat. The kids loved it, and I loved it too. And when I was in college, we'd go there almost every night because we could pig out every night for $1.89. It was cheaper than McDonald's. But sadly, there's only one left, and that's in Denver. There was one in Tulsa, there was one in Little Rock, and there was one in Oklahoma City that I know of. Uh, I don't know if there are any others, but those are all gone. It's just the one in Denver now. But anyway, we still have ponchos. We still love ponchos. So that's my little walk down memory lane on Cos Bonita and specifically ponchos for, that's still around. Uh, in fact, when I was working at All Roberts Television, uh, the guys from the TV department and I used to go to Poncho's for lunch sometimes. And uh, some of them have mentioned that on Facebook, that, uh, hey, is Poncho still around? I don't know about Tulsa, like I said, but here in the Dallas area, there's at least one left down in Arlington. And we go there about once a month, and uh, we don't pig out anymore. We're older. Used to be, you know, when you're young, you could eat two, three plates, two, three plates. Just keep raising the flag and getting more and more. Now... I get what I want, I eat it, and I'm done. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Anyway, Barry Kruger, Barry's Thoughts, March 2022. And stay with us. Click like if you like all our different things. We do reviews. We play organ music. You get to see my doggies. This is DC Edison, named after Thomas Edison. This is AC Tesla, named after Nikolai Tesla. And they're the Power Russells, and they're crazy. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Bye.